Hey watch friends, Christmas officially arrived early, received this care package from Zelos. This is their upcoming Spearfish GMT. This one's going to be launching on their website approximately one week from the time of publishing here. I will have the full review coming, so do stay tuned for that. Today, I just wanted to enjoy in a candid unboxing with you all. So let's go ahead and cut this open and see what we've got. This is one that we looked at previously as far as the Spearfish model. This is their latest variation, and it is so hard to cut on camera. This is their latest variation, the Spearfish GMT. So this should be similar to what we saw in the past. Here we go. All right, we got another, uh, another package to cut open. This is new for the packaging here. So with, uh, with this one, though, this is going to be very similar to this, the actual Spearfish, or the original Spearfish, which we previously checked out, and I do have the full review for that in case you missed it. That being said, I will have, in addition to the full review for this one, I'll do a comparison um, as well, and we'll get to uh, check out and see you know, what's the same, what's different, all that kind of good stuff. But today, we'll look at the basic specs, and mainly just give you kind of a teaser of this one so you all get to experience it with me. All right, inside, we've got the familiar Zellos packaging here. This is the newer style construction. This is their aluminum box. You can see the brush finish, dual tone here. So you've got kind of like a gunmetal gray. You got silver on the exterior. Very nice brushing as always. Clasp, pretty good on this one. I've had some that have been loose there. And then open that up and let's check out what we've got. All right, so first at the top, we've got the Zellos warranty card, typical fashion here. Nice to see them taped in, that one stayed in place. And then of course your basic info, skeletonization, your patterns there, and as always, metal construction. That one's been the same for quite some time. All right, but here's what we came to check out. Let's go ahead and get this stuff set aside and we can take a good look at this one. All right, so with the Spearfish GMT, you can see the overall styling at first impression is very similar. It's very reminiscent to the Spearfish itself that we looked at previously. This is going to have, as you can see here, because it's the GMT, you have the 24 hour uh, bezel for, for this one. That looks like it is a sapphire uh, bezel. Let's go ahead and start. We can get these stickers peeled off. Let you all enjoy that with me. I don't know about you, but I definitely enjoy that, uh, that sound and that first, uh, first peel away. That's always fun. This is one of the things that I'm excited to check out for this is it does have a new clasp for, uh, for this lineup and it does differ from the Aurora that we looked at recently, which also had a new clasp but we'll check that out further in just a moment. Last sticker. All right, there we go. All right, so now that we have uh, have that peeled, and let's see, actually, looks like we do have, I think, one on the crystal. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, this one's going to be a bugger, isn't it? I don't know why they some sometimes seem to uh, stick there. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. All right, there we go. Finally got that one off there. Thanks for bearing with me. All right, so now that we have uh, have a better look at this, this has you know a sapphire crystal for or sapphire rather for the bezel insert as well as of course sapphire crystal. The basic specs are going to be similar to the prior Spearfish, uh, so you're going to be looking at 40 millimeters, and this is of course their stated specs. I'll put it on my calipers and everything for the full review. But you've got 40 millimeters for the case, 47 millimeters for the lug to lug. Thickness is coming in at 13 millimeters, as you can see, definitely not a super slim one overall, but not terribly chunky either. We'll look at the movement here in a second, but this is going to be completely changed up from the preceding, of course, with the GMT function, you'd expect that. But before um, they had uh, the, uh, the LJP uh, movement, that was exciting to check out. Now they actually have a Salida, but this is the SW330-2, which is going to be uh, similar to the ETA 2893-2. The dash two is important to note because that actually kicks up the power reserve from, I believe, around 40 or 42 hours up to approximately 56 hours. So that's a great bump there and exciting to, uh, to see. This will additionally, this is going to have their hardened coating. So it's 316L stainless steel, but it has a hardened coating on it. So it'll increase the scratch resistant. The price is going to be a little on the higher side because of that movement in there. It is $850 um, is going to be the launch. And then there's four variants that are going to be available. Of course, the white that we're looking at today. There's additionally a meteorite and a venturine. And then there's a newer color um, that's kind of like an orangish yellow, uh, somewhat of like a mustard uh, yellow coloration for, for that. But let's check out this a little closer. So you can see this is similar to some guilloche patterns that we've seen in the, on past uh, Zelos models, and we'll check that out again in the full review. The coloration is real nice. It's it's like a snow, kind of like, it, they call it white, but it's like a silvery coloration. And then you can see the second hand there, or I'm sorry, the GMT hand rather, 
is that like baby blue that actually reminds me of the color combination on the original uh, Mako V3 where they had the frost version and it had that blue accent you can see down there with the water resistance as well as the GMT hand. But let's go ahead and look at that on wrist. So this is my six and a half inch wrist. You can see it fits real nicely for that. But it's, again, it's going to be very similar to the Spearfish that we looked at in the past. And that Spearfish wore absolutely beautifully. The bracelet, you know, the articulation is just fantastic for, uh, for that. And this, I can already tell without having this size, is going to be very similar as well. But let's go ahead and check this out from every angle to give you a preview here. You know, nice use of, uh, of the uh, mixed eye texture as Zellos always does. Generous application of the polish, but just to break up that brushing there. This is going to be a bi-directional, so 48 click. You know, it's, it's pretty good. Um, ultimately, we've uh, checked out some in the past that I was underwhelmed with. This actually, I'm wondering if this is a bearing style like the uh, original Horizons or the Horizons V2 uh, was. Because this actually has a very positive click to it, which is, is nice. You know, it's not the ratcheting that you get from a traditional spring. But it actually, I mean, it feels pretty well nested in place. This was something that was a deficiency on one of the uh, more recent bi-directional, which actually might have been the, uh, the Spearfish. So that feels a lot cleaner there, and I'm liking that overall. And then you can see here a little more polishing on this side with the crown, uh, crown guard there. Checking that out. But let's check this out. we got to look at that case back. Look at that rotor. That thing is just sweet. You've got this obviously completely custom there. You have this skeletonization and just a really cool look. You've got very subtle Geneva striping that's worked in there, but with having that heavy skeletonization, of course, the Zelos Z in there, that's a nice touch as well. Really good looking. And of course, in the full review, we'll have this in outdoor footage and everything. So we'll get a better, a better look at that. But one of the big things I want to look at is this clasp. This is different, as I mentioned, than the Aurora clasp that we looked at. This one is going to be a toolless micro adjust as well, so that's great. This actually was featured previously, so this isn't the first time for it, but it is a newer clasp. This was on one of the recent models, the Vatisse. So I'm curious to check out, check this one out and see how it compares to the Aurora. First, let's go ahead and look at the silhouette. You can see not too bad there, definitely. I mean, as always with these toolless ones, a little bit on the chunky side, but really not too bad at all. And then let's see, you know, you've got nice... Uh, Nice polishing there. I think that definitely classes it up in keeping with this model. And then let's check out how this toolless actually works on this. So, okay, so that's in the extended position. Let's see, how's this one going? Okay, so it looks like all you do is actually just pull that up and then it slides in and out for that and then locks into place. So all you do is pull up, slide, so no button to push on this one and then get that up, popped into place there. So that's a, definitely an interesting function on this. I'm not sure at first impression. I'm going to play around with it more. And in the full review, I'll share that feedback uh, as to whether I prefer this or I, if I prefer the Aurora style. The Aurora, I thought, was really well uh, done as well. But it's good to have uh, options there. And, of course, the having the toolless micro in general is uh, something that I always appreciate. All right. So there we go, though. This is just, a, again, just a kind of quick first look at this. We've got the basic specs out of the way. So that way we'll uh, we'll be prepared for the uh, for the full review. But mainly, I want to get to feel uh, get a feel for this watch itself. I expect it's going to be very similar in usage to the Spearfish again, which was excellent. There, there's a, an idea as far as the bracelet articulation. Check that out. Yeah, I mean, just excellent there. Nice small links, very freely articulating. Does fold flat to the case back, and it really you just tell on your wrist there. Same thing with you know shorter lug to lug fits nicely again on my six and a half inch wrist. And there's an idea as far as just the, the basic presence of this. But I got to say, you know, I'm definitely digging this. You know, it's, it's uh, not one that's hugely shocking because we are familiar with the Spearfish. But it, it's definitely, it's a nice iteration. I'm excited to put this SW330 through its paces. Glad to see they did the Dash 2 in that custom rotor. That case back just looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm enjoy enjoying that as well. But again, I'll have uh, the full review coming up. I will also have the comparison, so we'll check this out with uh, the Spearfish, and we'll bring in some other ones as well, just to give a better feel and sense for uh, for that. So do stay tuned for uh, for those ones. I hope this has been an enjoyable first look for you. Let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite of these variants if you've seen the previews? And if not, I'll, of course, show them in the full review. So with that, go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoyed this. And as always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.